My name's Chef Egg with Cooking with Egg TV out of Baltimore, Maryland, and I'm gonna show you how to saute Parmesan crusted tilapia. The ingredients for this dish are really simple. We're gonna start out with three tilapia fillets, season them on both sides with a little bit of salt and pepper, then we're gonna dredge them in one cup of flour, three eggs, and a mixture of a half a cup of Italian breadcrumbs, a half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese, and a tablespoon of dry herbs. Next, we're gonna saute it with a tablespoon of butter and a little bit of olive oil. Now, when I'm cooking with things like fish and chicken, I love to use these vinyl gloves. And these are really great because you can purchase them at the drugstore and uh, use them for all your kind of messy bits in the kitchen. And then when you're done, you can just take them off and throw them away. We're gonna season our tilapia fillets with a little bit of kosher salt and fresh cracked pepper. Turn our fillets over and season on the other side. After we season our fillets, we're gonna begin the breading process. Now the first thing we have to do is mix our breadcrumbs, herbs, and cheese together. That looks really nice. It's gonna give us a beautiful crust. Now we're gonna use the three-step breading process for our fish. We start out with flour. The flour helps the egg to stick. Then from the egg, we're gonna throw it into the breadcrumb mixture. This helps you get a nice firm crust on your fish. The problem is a lot of people just throw it right in breadcrumbs. You throw it in the breadcrumbs and then you put it in the pan and the coating starts to fall off as you cook it. The three-step process enables you to get a nice, firm, and thick crust. So what we're gonna do is lightly dredge in flour, then egg, getting off all the extra, and then we're gonna finish it in the breadcrumbs, pressing those breadcrumbs in there. And that looks great. So we're gonna repeat the process with the rest of the fish. And this is also a reason I love these gloves because this can get really, really messy. If you can't find these gloves, just go to your local drugstore and they always have them. We've got this beautiful crusted fish over here and now it's time to saute. So what we have over here is a beautiful stainless steel pan. You could use non-stick if you like. And we're gonna start the pan off with a little bit of olive oil, swirl that around. But next, we're gonna add a tablespoon of butter. So we've got an olive oil and butter mixture. Now, why do we do that? Well, the butter adds great flavor to our dish, but it's gonna burn on the heat that we have it on. So if we add a little bit of olive oil, it will help to brown our food even better, but we'll also bring the temperature of the butter up so it doesn't burn. Take that butter, throw it in the pan, Get that mixed up. Now once the foam on the butter subsides, we can then add our fish to the pan. So we're very carefully, with our gloved hand, gonna take our fish filet and lay it in the pan. And again, we've got medium heat. Medium heat is gonna make sure that we get a beautiful crust. Now we don't wanna overcrowd the pan, so just enough to cover the pan and give a little bit of room for the fish to breathe. We want everything to become golden brown. Once we have our fishy hands and our fishy plate, we can throw that in the sink and wipe our area down. You can see it sizzling up very nicely. And a big tip here is not to touch the food. Once you place the food in the pan, you want it to cook and brown properly. A lot of people start moving stuff around and touching it and poking it. What happens is the food never has time to brown properly and seal in all those juices. So leave the food in the pan. It should take three to four minutes. Then we're gonna turn it once and cook it on the other side until it's golden brown again. The big question is, how do you know when it's time to turn the fish? Well, there's several things that'll let you know. One is you'll start to see the fish cooking up the side. That's a really good sign. The next thing is, especially with these stainless steel pans, that if you give this pan a shake like this, the food releases from the pan, and that's how you know you're ready to turn. So very carefully take your spatula. Oh, that looks beautiful. Nice and golden brown. So we'll continue to cook that on the other side and then we'll plate this dish up. 
So our fish is now flaky to the touch. So we take the fish out of the pan, arrange it on a beautiful platter, take some arugula that we've tossed with a little bit of olive oil, give it some, uh, give it some shine, and just garnish just like that. We're gonna squeeze with a little bit of lemon and then serve this immediately. My name is Chef Egg with Cooking with Egg TV out of Baltimore, Maryland, and that's how you saute Parmesan crusted tilapia.